Hey, I'm Sharon from Excel at Work where we offer straightforward non-technical assistance to help you save time, work smarter and improve your Microsoft Office skills. Hello! Now, during one of our live groups this week, um, I had somebody say to me how amazing the double click is in Excel when you are resizing columns. And it made me think, you know, the double click in Excel does more than just resize columns. So I'm going to take you through five things that I use constantly when I'm double clicking and working inside of Excel. So number one, of course, up here we have the ability to hide our ribbon. A double click on your active tab, one, two, and you will hide your ribbon. Now this is brilliant. If you are like me and you are working on a laptop when you're traveling, you get a little bit more screen real estate and it means that you can click onto your tab. Your ribbon will drop down and you can use it, but then of course it will hide again and you've got a little bit more space that you can work with. I'm just going to double click it and bring it back. Column width, brilliant. So down here you can see that we've got the retail ink tax and you can't actually see it all. But if I come up here and I double click, my column will resize so that it will fit the widest entry. And you can see now I can see the entire heading. Fantastic. It'll also help you if I just do a double click here. It'll help you save space as well. You know when you try and print and one column goes off onto another page? You can save a little bit if you come in here and you double click to resize your columns just to get them a little bit slimmer so that you don't have to use so much space when you're printing. Okay, number three. This is awesome. If I come over here, you can see I'm just going to do a double click on here and I can do something called in-cell editing. Of course, you can see the formula up here, but you can also see it down here. So I'm just gonna press my escape key, and I'll do that again. Double click, and you can actually edit inside your cell if you want to. I'm just gonna press my enter key. So that was number three. Number four, up here. If I click onto the formula, take my mouse pointer onto the dot in the corner there at the bottom, I'm going to get a little black cross here. Now double click, I'm just gonna double click this, and that will copy that formula right to the bottom of the list. Now what Excel does is it looks at the adjacent column and it stops copying where the adjacent column stops, the first empty row. How cool is that? Now at the moment, it's not that impressive when you've only got this many rows, but my goodness, when you have got 4,000 rows or even 200, it's amazing. So I'll just show you that again. I'm going to undo. You just take your mouse pointer over the little dot, double click, and look at that. So it saves you from having to do the click and drag. Of course, it's, it's easy to click and drag on this amount, but not so easy when you've got 2,000 rows, right? Okay, now last thing. Coming down here, if I wanted to now put a new worksheet in here and rename it at the same time, I can double click. And now look at that, I've got the new worksheet and Excel's ready for me to rename it. So I can come in here and rename it. And there we go. So I'm hoping that those five things are going to be helpful to you. Some of them you might know already, but definitely you might have picked up on a couple. So remember you can hide your ribbon, double click, and double click to bring it back again. You can change your column width, easy peasy. You can copy down, so we can just use the little black cross to copy down. We can do in-cell editing, double click on the cell. And the last thing I showed you down here, just double clicking on the new sheet button, and you get a new sheet, and of course you can rename it at the same time. There you go. Right, let me know what you think in the comments. And if you have any super helpful double click tips to share, please do.